Liverpool verdict, Anfield gets the message as unstoppable Reds return to the top of the Premier League. The battle cry came from their king in cop heights delivered. All the nerves and anxiety of recent weeks were swept aside as Liverpool returned to the top of the Premier League table in style. Unity is strength read the banner on the cup and this was the revitalized Reds operating as one powerful united force. They were unstoppable. When it gets towards the finishing line that's when you need them most of all, declared Sir Kenny Dalglish on the eve of Bournemouth's visit. The fans can get them over the line with their support. The message to embrace and enjoy this title race rather than fret about potentially falling short got through loud and clear. Anfield was bouncing from start to finish as that thunderous encouragement helped inspire dominant display and the resounding victory as they re-established their three-point lead over Manchester City. Jurgen Klopp paid tribute to supporters group Spy and Cop 1906 in his program notes and rightly so. They had taken a stand against the negativity which had seeped in following the insipid draws against Leicester and West Ham. They had mobilized a fan base to show up early and make a difference. The volume levels throughout were more akin to a big European night. Here was the power of Anfield. Jurgen's cracking up taunted City fans on the other side of Stanley Park in midweek after the Reds wobble in the capital. This sparkling performance, packed with quality, pace, hunger and passion, made a mockery of claims that either the manager or his players are crumbling under the pressure. A beaming Klopp certainly looked happy enough as he dished out bear hugs and fist pumps after the final whistle. The manager had demanded a show of passion and he got exactly that. The Reds will have a spring in their step when they fly off to Spain for a training camp next week. They will face Bayern Munich at Anfield a week on Tuesday with momentum restored. The improvement in all departments was vast. On the day that Klopp urged fans to fasten their seatbelts for the run-in, Liverpool took the handbrake off. The front three of Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane were back to their dazzling best as they tormented Eddie Howe's side. The return of the outstanding Ginny Wijnaldum, who overcame a sickness bug which ruled him out of training on Friday, added class and control in midfield, while alongside him Naby Kutis Liverpool career took a massive step forward and Fabinho impressed once again. Defensively, the Reds looked so much more assured as they kept only their second clean sheet since Boxing Day. Main headed home the opener, scoring in a fourth successive Premier League game for the first time, before Wijnaldum's exquisite lob extended their lead. When Salah finished off a glorious team move for his 20th goal of the season early in the second half, the points were secure. For the first time in 2019 this was a triumph to be savoured rather than endured as Liverpool's grip on proceedings never loosened. With Wijnaldum replacing Adam Lallana, there was only one change from the side which drew 1-1 at West Ham on Monday but Liverpool were unrecognisable. Everything that was lacking at the London Stadium, energy, intensity, organisation and attacking spark, was back in abundance against the Cherries. The balance of the midfield looked so much better with Wijnaldum alongside Fabino and Kuta. There was an early scare when Ryan Fraser's strike was pushed away by Alison Becker but Liverpool soon settled and turned the screw. Fabino stamped his authority on the contest as he thundered into tackles and used the ball intelligently. The Brazilian fed Salah, who cut inside past Diego Rico but curled high and wide. The atmosphere was in stark contrast to the recent visit of Leicester when frustration in the stands undoubtedly transmitted to the field. When James Milner's pass failed to find its intended target, there was applause for the idea if not the execution. Klopp nodded in approval and clapped along with them. Bournemouth were penned back deeper and deeper as Firmino was thwarted by Artur Boruk who then clung on to Salah's deflected shot. Andy Robertson carried the fight as he rampaged down the left at every opportunity. The Scottish left back was immense with expertly timed tackles to deny Jordan Ibe and then Adam Smith. His name boomed around Danfield. Firmino, who had been a passenger against West Brom, was so much more influential as he made a nuisance of himself and repeatedly forced mistakes. Finally, the pressure told midway through the first half. A corner was half cleared but Kata fed the ball back out to Milner on the right. The vice-captain whipped in a beauty and main powered home a header from six yards out. 
Liverpool should have swiftly added to their account. It was a blistering counterattack started by Firmino and Kata on the edge of their own box. Main swept it down the left to Firmino, who in turn fed the ball perfectly into the path of Wijnaldum. However, rather than pull the trigger, the Dutchman decided to lay it off to Salah, who fluffed his kick. Wijnaldum made amends in breathtaking fashion 11 minutes before the break. Kata played his part as he dispossessed Hybe and Robertson lofted a pass into Wijnaldum's path. The former PSV Eindhoven man only needed two touches. One to control and the other to dispatch a stunning lob over the stranded Boryuk. It was only Wijnaldum's second goal of the season and his first at Anfield since October 2017. Players and fans alike were enjoying themselves and Salah almost added a third on the cusp of half-time. His sweetly struck volley was tipped over by Boryuk. Three minutes into the second half Salah found the net to strengthen his grip on the golden boot. He's now two goals clear of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It was a move which showcased Kutis showing confidence after a tough first season at Anfield. This was the Guinean's most complete performance for the Reds as he was a creative force throughout. Main received Milner's throw in and fed Kutis, who dispatched a pinpoint through ball for Firmino. Rather than shoot. The No-9 unselfishly opted to back heel into the path of Salah, who slotted into the far corner. Liverpool could and should have had more. It was one-way traffic. The unmarked main nodded wide before Salah struck the bar after a slick 1-2 with Firmino. There was the welcome sight of Trent Alexander-Arnold making his comeback from injury off the bench as Wijnaldum was afforded a richly deserved standing ovation. Kitta. Firmino and Alexander-Arnold all had chances laid on but couldn't convert. The party inside Anfield was in full swing. Liverpool top of the league crowed the cup. Both on and off the pitch, this was a day which should fuel the belief they will still be there come May. Liverpool, Alisson, Milnor, Matip, Van Dijk, Robertson, Wijnaldum, Alexander-Arnold 77, Fabino, Kita, Main, Arig 87, Salah. Firmino, Sturridge 90. Not used, Mignolet, Camacho, Henderson, Lalana. Bournemouth, Boryuk, Smith, Cook, Ake, Rico, Mefamedi, Ibe, Solank 59, Gosling, Lerma, Moose at 73, Sermon, Fraser, King. Not used, Bogovic, Simpson, Taylor, Surridge. Referee, Anthony Taylor Attendance. 53,178 goals, Main 24, Wijnaldum 34, Salah 47 bookings, Matip, Robertson, Rico, Smith man of the match, Jenny Wijnaldum. Back with a bang.